There's one painting on Har, there's many paintings actually, but there's one painting that I've always found very interesting because of the iconography uh, and how do you distinguish male from female. I know we've talked about this before, but uh, it will come up again and again because it's a, it's a confused subject with artists and uh, it can be very difficult with uh, certain iconographic forms to tell, to distinguish between male or female because they can have the same attributes, the same color, um, peaceful generally in appearance. That's the most difficult um, to recognize. But with this particular painting, it's uh, most likely 18th or early 19th century. It's in a Palpung monastery style. Um, it has 11 figures in total with one large uh, central Manjushri, white Manjushri, with the two hands in the Dharma teaching gesture. But then we have these, these uh, 10 figures around. Uh, now at the top we have three orange or red figures. Those we can recognize fairly easily, well the two of them on the right and the left side as being Manjushri, orange in color, and if we look at the two at the top and then we look at the central uh, large figure, we see that there's a very much a horizontal hairline. This is a, a convention that really developed in the 17th, 16th century to distinguish male from female. But look at the very top center. That looks like either an Amitabha or an Amitaya's Buddha, but missing the begging bowl or missing the long life boss. In fact, that figure is, is neither Amitabha nor Amitayas. It's, it's a form of Manjushri that can easily be confused for Amitabha or Amitayas. As we descend down the sides, we have, uh, we have mostly, well, they're all white figures. But if you look at the figure on the left side, it has an oval hairline, oval face. It does not have the, the horizontal hairline. So that's a female figure. So that's not a Manjushri, that's a Sarasvati. On, the, on our right side, we have another figure of a, a seated um, figure holding up a sword and holding up raised a book. Now that one is difficult to say. Is that really, is that really a male or is it female? Is it Sarasvati or is it Manjushri? Then again, going lower down, we have the two figures with the uh, yellow halos. Uh, the one on our left side appears to have more of a, of, a, of a horizontal hairline, but possibly it too could be a Sarasvati. The one on our right side, she has the uh, right hand in generosity uh, gesture, and the left hand holds a book above a, a, a flower. Uh, this one definitely has an oval face, so this again is Sarasvati. Then on the bottom right, we have a four-armed uh, figure uh, playing the, uh, the Veena, and this is a well-known form of Sarasvati. Directly below the main central figure, we have white Manjushri with a horizontal hairline, and to his right side, we have Prajnaparamita from the Vajra uh, Panjara Tantra. Oh, sorry. It, it can be a Sarasvati, but it, it looks more like a Prajnaparamita, uh, white, uh, and that would be the Vajrapanjara form. So it's really a little tricky with this painting to know for sure with some of these figures who exactly is being depicted because I have also not found um, texts for all of these. There's a number of, of Sarasvatis that um, I just, I'm not sure where the where the text can be found. I've looked in all the common locations for iconography, but I'm still um, still searching. So this is just an introduction to uh, one particular painting that has interesting iconography where we're not always sure who the figures are. So you can press the like button, you can subscribe, and you can uh, join Har on Patreon, and you can see longer videos, exclusive images, and exclusive articles.